Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the factors of this given cubic equation really fast. And one more thing, just keep in your mind that the leading coefficient of this cubic equation is simply 1. And also this equation is in a descending order. And now in our next step, we are going to find the possible divisors of this constant term which is negative 6. So the possible divisor is going to be all those integers positive negative 1, positive negative 2, positive negative 3, and positive negative 6. And since the highest degree in this polynomial, this equation, is 3, that means we must have 3 solutions. That means we are going to pick three appropriate numbers among these. And now in the next step, we are going to find how many of these three numbers are going to be negative numbers. Let me show you a really easy way. Just let's look at these positive, negative, positive, negative signs. I am going to write down these one right up here. Positive negative, positive, negative. Now we're going to see the fluctuations, uh, the changes. This goes from positive to negative, this goes from negative to positive, and this goes to negative. So as you can see, we have a three fluctuations that are happening. One, two, three. That means we are going to have three negative solution. That means all those numbers are going to be negative. And here is another clue among those three numbers. If we add those numbers, three numbers that should add up to negative 6, and if we multiply those numbers that add up to negative 6, don't worry about the heart yet. I'll explain it to you later on. So what do you think? What are those three numbers? that add up to negative 6 and if you multiply those three numbers that's going to give us negative 6. So the possible numbers are going to be simply negative 1, negative 2 and negative 3. As you can see if you add these three numbers we are going to get negative 6 isn't it? And if you multiply these three numbers we are going to get negative 6. And you can check one more thing. Let's go ahead and look at it. This uh, negative 1 times negative 3 is going to be positive 3, isn't it? And now if you multiply negative 1 times negative 2 is going to be a positive 2 and negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. Let's go ahead and add these numbers. 2 plus 6 plus 3. If we add these number up, we are going to get this number 11. And isn't it this shape looks like a heart shape? No wonder I call it this is a heart. And once again, all these three numbers are negative as we predicted. So our factors are going to be a simply, we're going to put down three parentheses. As you can see, I'm going to put down x, x, and x right up here. And then I am going to write down these three numbers. Here is going to be negative 1. Here is going to be negative 2 and here it is going to be negative 3. And finally our solution set is going to be the all the same numbers except you just change the sign. Negative become positive. So it's going to become positive 1, positive 2 and positive 3. And here is our next example and we are going to find the factors for this cubic equation. And once again the very first step is to find the possible divisors of this constant term and those going to be for sure is going to be these integers positive negative 1, 
positive negative 2 positive negative 4 and positive negative 8 and since the highest degree of this equation is 3 so we are going to have three solutions so that means we are going to pick three numbers among these possible divisors and finally we are going to see how many of these numbers that we're going to pick three of them how many are going to be the negative numbers among those so to do that one let's look at these highlighted signs positive negative negative positive i am going to write down these numbers right these signs over here positive negative negative positive if these like these negative signs showed up twice together we are going to write them just once so i'm going to write down positive negative and positive and now we're going to see that the fluctuation is going to be simply from positive to negative one and this is going to be two so we got two changes that one of them is this one and the second is this one that means we are going to have two negative numbers among these and that means one is going to be then positive so that's our possible appropriate numbers going to be negative 2, negative 2, and positive 2. These three numbers. And we know that two of them are negative and one of them is positive. And if we add these three numbers here, they must add up to negative 2 and that indeed does and how about if we multiply them if we see the product that should multiply to positive 8 and as far as heart is concerned here let me show you that one if we multiply these two end numbers that's gonna be negative 4 negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 how about we multiply negative 2 times negative 2 is going to positive 4 and if we multiply this one that is going to give us negative 4 negative 2 times negative 4 let's go ahead and add these three numbers 4 plus negative 4 plus negative 4 if we add them that adds up to negative 4 and since this shape looks much like a heart, no wonder I call this number as a heart. So thus our factors are going to be, we are going to put down three parentheses. And then we are going to put X over here in the first. And then we are going to put down these whatever numbers we got. Negative 2 right up here and here negative 2 and here this number is same as positive 2 so I'm going to put down positive 2 and finally our solution set is going to be the same number except we just change the sign this negative 2 become positive 2 this become positive 2 and this positive 2 become negative 2 so our nth solution set is going to be positive 2 positive 2 and negative 2 and that is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye